Principle of Microscope A simple microscope works on the principle that when a tiny object is placed within its focus, a virtual, erect and magnified image of the object is formed at the least distance of distant vision from the eye held close to the lens. There are types of microscope such as stereo microscope, compound microscope, inverted microscope, metallurgical microscope and polarizing microscope. Principle of centrifuge. The centrifuge involves the principle of sedimentation. The principle of the centrifugation technique is to separate the particles suspended in liquid media under the influence of a centrifugal field. These are placed either in tubes or bottles in the rotor in the centrifuge. Sedimentation is a phenomenon where suspended material settles out of the fluids will be gravity. The particles having size more than 5 micrometers are separated by simple filtration process while the particles having size 5 micrometers or less do not sediment under gravity. The central force is useful to separate those particles. Important parts of instrument Centrifuge Motor Electric motor is a part of centrifuge which helps to drive control panel. The control panel placed on the front casing serves the purpose of controlling centrifuge operating chamber. The entire system is housed within a chamber that centrifuge head contain the cups of cups or shield that cover the rotor and turns on a spindle. A safety shield in the chamber surround the rotors. Rotor Rotors and centrifuge are the motor device that house the tubes within with the samples. Sample the that to be separated. Latch discontinue use of any centrifuge that does not have a latch. The latch keep the centrifuge lid closed in the event of tube breakage or other problem while the centrifuge is operating. Lid. Discontinue the use of any centrifuge that does not have a lid and does not retrofit the unit with a lid that does not have a latch, not in a safety lid. When possible, purchase centrifuge that have inner safety lids for the back a bucket or rotor. Next, microscope. Three stu- structural parts of my- microscope. Head, base, um, head. This is also known as the body. It carries the optional part in the upper part of the microscope. Base. It acts as microscope support. It also carries microscopic illuminator. Arms. This is the part of connecting the base end to the head and the eyepiece tube to the base of the microscope. Eyepiece. Also known as ocular. This is the part used to look through the microscope. It's found at the top of the microscope. Eyepiece tube. It also eyepiece holder. It is it carries the eyepiece just above the objective. Objective lens. Objective lenses. These are the major lens used to be specimen visualization. They have a mag- magnification power of 40 to 100, 100 times. Nose piece, also known as revolving turrets, in hold the objective lenses. The adjustment knobs. These are knobs that are used to focus microscope stage. This is the section of which the specimen is placed for viewing. Aperture. This is the hole on the microscope stage through which the transmit light from the source reach the stage. Microscopic illuminator. This is the microscope light source located at the base. Condenser microscope. These are lenses that are used to collect and focus light from the illuminator in the specimen. Diagram. It also known as iris. It found under the stage of the microscope and its primary role in the control the amount of the light reaches the specimen. Condenser focus knob. This is a knob that moves the condenser up or down, thus controlling the focusing light on the specimen. Rack, the rack stop. 
It controls how far the stage, stage should go, preventing the objective lens from getting too close to specimen slide, which may damage the specimen. Demonstration step to use the instrument. First, place the sample from the test tube into one of the getaways. Then insert test tube filled with water for balance if needed based on the quantity of samples you're testing. Close the lid and make your selections. Then, start the centrifuge and wait for the cycle to finish. Lastly, remove the balances and samples once the centrifuge has stopped spinning. Each sample will now be disassembled into its constituent parts and prepared for analysis. Okay, now let's look steps to use the microscope. Step 1. Connect the light microscope to a power supply in the first step. Step 2. Rotate the revolving nose piece to set the lowest objective lens. Step 3. Place your specimen on the platform. Step 4. To keep your slide in a place, use the metal clips. Step 5. Focus your specimen by looking into the eyepiece and slowly rotating the coarse adjustment knob. Step 6. Set the condenser to give you the most light. Step 7. Slowly move the fine adjustment knob until the image of your specimen becomes clearer. Step 8. Inspect your sample. Step 9. Switch to the medium power objective after you finished watching with the lowest power objective and readjust the focus with the fine adjustment knob. And lastly, step 10. Once you've got the lower power target focused, move on to the high power target. Maintenance of the centrifuge and microscope. Maintenance of the centrifuge. There are three types of maintenance daily, weekly to monthly, and annually. Firstly, is daily maintenance. If necessary, wipe the following parts with a lint free microfiber cloth. Example centrifuge housing, camber, rotor shafts, rotor, rotor lids, or caps. Keep the lid of the centrifuge open to reduce pressure on the spring lifts. Of the centrifuge lid. Before and after use, check the rotor and lift for scratches, dust, or spill sample material. When using an aerosol tight rotor, check the seal of the lid. Clean your centrifuge on a regular basis to protect your investment and to maximize the lifetime of your instrument and guarantee op operational safety. Next is weekly to monthly. Keep a maintenance log carefully. Remove rotor from centrifuge. Make a detailed inspection of the centrifuge rotor, rotor lid, and buckets for cracks and corrosion. Next is annually. Check with your local safety officers for any local regulation regarding centrifuge maintenance. Maintenance of the microscope. As usual, there are three types of maintenance. Daily maintenance, weekly maintenance, and monthly maintenance. First is daily maintenance. Turn off the light. Remove all traces of the oil from the 100 times objective with a keen wipes lens whip. Never use an alcohol based product. Next is cover the microscope with a plastic bag. It is not recommended to use a fabric bag as it is leaf dust partials. Next is weekly maintenance. Spray the eye pieces with a compressed air vaporizer. Example, super duster to remove any dust without touching the lens. Next is main monthly maintenance. Using a wipe intended for this purpose, remove the dust from the eye pieces without taking them out. Complete the monthly cleaning by spraying the eye pieces with a compressed air vaporizer. 10 tips for microscope care. Tip 1. Handle with care. Second. Keep lenses clear of slides. The third tip is clean after using immersion oil. Next, cover when not in use. Look after the bulb. Store in a clean, dry place. Tip number seven is only use special lens paper or wipes for cleaning the lenses. Keep your user's manuals and branches in a safe place. Perform an annual maintenance check. Last but not least, have your microscope serviced professionally.